What is going on, guys? This is D with Nearfall Gaming back at you for another episode of SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 General Manager Mode. We're going to get right into it. Once again, as we are testing out this new format, leave a comment down below if you prefer me to leave the recap from the week prior out of the video. That's the way we've been doing it. We're trying to keep these videos shorter, and I end up talking and getting a little bit redundant <laughs> when we go over it too much I just want to make sure that the story is as clear as I can make it so we try to just be real thorough when explaining the story the week of as you can see we've got the graphic up for our preview of September 13th Smackdown and we're gonna get right into it you see this handicap match if you remember last week Elijah Burke made an impact on Marcus Corvon's match and said that he they the two of them have one more match and that they've got some unfinished business. This is that match that the snake Elijah Burke is referring to. He's referring to a handicap match. He's got his new boy Kenny Dykstra helping him out in this match. Um, Marcus Corvon, he's going to show no fear, but ultimately this it is what it is. <laughs> and this is what uh, Elijah Burke had in mind. This is what he got set up. He was able to get it set up with the general manager. And um, we got a handicap match on our hands. So, <laughs> Marcus Corvon taking on Kenny Dykstra and Elijah Burke in a handicap match. Match number two. Triple threat action. Cruiserweight action. Gregory Helms, Johnny Nitro, and Chavito. Chavito is looking real, real strong. He had an impressive showing last week. He got a victory alongside the Cruiserweight champion, Sabu. Sabu will be in commentary for this match. It's not necessarily a number one contenders match, but it's safe to say that Chavo's got Sabu's attention. Um, after they got the victory in a tag match, they had a pretty intense stare down where Sabu raised the belt, and that's where that ended, basically. There's a triple threat to just move forward towards figuring out who's going to be the next challenger for the Cruiserweight title. Match number three, a United States Championship match for William Regal taking on King Booker. So, this, this situation between William Regal and King Booker has devolved and kind of blown up very quickly. William Regal and Finley went for the tag titles, didn't get them. King Booker kind of scolded them, basically said, you know, why are you even, you know, prioritizing and putting your efforts and time into the tag team titles when the focus should be me gaining the world title? And basically, William Regal didn't like that. He smacked the shit out of King Booker. Well, William Regal got attacked by Finley last week, and here we are. The general manager has awarded William Regal a shot at King Booker, and it's going to be for the United States title. Just a one-on-one -on -one contest, nothing too fancy about it, but that's the way it's going to go down. U.S. title on the line, William Regal, King Booker. Match number four, Jeff Hardy versus Chris Masters. Again, not really a match similar to last week's ordeal with Matt Hardy, Chris Masters challenging Jeff Hardy here to the Master Lock Challenge. Jeff Hardy accepts last week. Chris Masters handled Matt Hardy pretty well in the Master Lock Challenge, so who knows how it's going to go this week. And then in our main event, we've got Rey Mysterio and Kane taking on Edge and Mr. Kennedy in a tag team match. And basically, Rey Mysterio is the number one contender. Edge has been losing his shit. Mr. Kennedy is a strong player on the card, and Kane obviously has got his issues with Edge. So, that's all coming to boil, coming to fruition. Our world champion is not here, and we will see what comes from this tag team match. With that being said, we're going to lock in the show. We're going to get going, and first match, we're going to simulate it. <laughs> Um, Corvana actually does not lose. I was, I really thought for some reason that, um, usually in handicap matches when you simulate them, I feel like they don't go the way you think they would. Marcus Corvan picks up the victory here. He, he just handles a business. He, yeah, okay, he gets it done against Elijah Burke and Kenny Dykstra. He pins Kenny Dykstra, Elijah Burke hightails it out of there, 
and kind of, you know, just holding his back as he goes up the ramp. Uh, he, he's, um, yeah, excuse me, he doesn't, he, he doesn't go up the ramp, but he gets out of there for Kenny Dexter to take the pin, but then he begins relentlessly attacking Marcus Corvan after the match, and you could just tell that he is not happy with Kenny Dykstra or anything along those lines. So that is how that match goes. Kayfabe, Marcus Corvan picks up the victory. Next match, we're going to simulate another triple threat. Chavito, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Johnny Nitro does not pick up the victory in Kayfabe. Chavito picks up the victory in Kayfabe. I apologize for the... For... We're going off base a little bit here, but we, we we want Chavo to win this match. It's not a steel cage match, just a normal triple threat. We're just trying to get that little extra nod for the ratings. Chavo wins the match, and again, he stares down Sabu. He's in the ring. Sabu's at commentary. That's not a great addition for commentary necessarily, but maybe he's just sitting like ringside, not actually on commentary necessarily. But that is the the interaction between the two of those men and that's the way it goes united states championship match up next since this is a good and proper united states championship match we're going to get in here we're gonna play it and here comes willie Riggs, william regal I like this theme. I don't. I remember the theme that he had in SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, and that's the theme that I thought he had in this game. The the one that's more like, I don't know, just not as aggressive, I suppose, and not as dark. Um, but this theme is much better, in my opinion. So we're seeing William Regal coming down here, and remember, William Regal has been a rather formidable singles competitor throughout his tenure up until he kind of just became a, a stable member for King Booker. So, you know, this might be a good one. We're playing as William Regal, and that is mainly because we will 100% get the outcome that we want. Whether that is a victory for William Regal, we might get ourselves disqualified. You know, King Booker might just whoop that ass on us and get a clean pin. Um, who knows? You know, you're going to have to just stay tuned and see how it goes, because... We're going to give his entrance just another moment, but in just a second, we're going to get into the action. My man, United States champion. Here we go. Here we go. All right, Willie Riggs. Oh, okay, not a good start. Okay, there we go. There we go. Just looking up. Okay, nice little technical move. I love the technical wrestlers, but in the video games, I don't love the technical wrestlers' <laughs> move sets all the time. So many roll-ups and lots of submissions, and not necessarily high-impact moves. Uh, you know, this, that, and the third. So, nice. Oof, okay, he got me on that one. I wasn't exactly expecting that. Damn, son, he's just reversing everything. Oh, he needs a, just a silly goose and didn't <laughs> save his his fighting style or, or his finisher, or, you know, anything like that. The AI in this game is just so questionable. Um, I... It was playing 2K23 obvious recently. I shouldn't say obviously, but I was playing 2K23 recently, and the 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 a the modern AI <laughs> is so refreshing after playing this game a lot, and it's just not it's not perfect by any means. It's not perfect, but it is so much better than what it is in this game. Because just playing around with the AI. There are a couple times where I, you know, just kind of wanted to see how certain things would go, and I watched the computer AI just actively not win a match when I, like, asked it 
to win the match. And I <laughs> just could not could not get out of the match with you know a, a certain controlled outcome. Like it, it would definitely give resistance to make it so I couldn't win, but it wasn't trying to win the match either. I would say. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go, Willem. 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 Go, Willem. Come on, Bill. Okay. Damn, this King Booker, man. He is just on it. He's a very high rated in this game. I think he's like a 92 or some shit. Anyway, maybe 91. It's unfortunate that that didn't work for William Regal because he's a baby face and by alignment. So that means queen. Because nobody would cheer a dirty wrestler back in 2007. Don't you dare even imply that nonsense. Come on, William. This is your United States Championship opportunity. you got to step your shit up, brother. Yeah, kick... Yeah! Yeah, kick him right in the kidney. Yeah. Boom. Nice curb stomp. There we go. Big leg damage. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh. Oh, super tiger bomb. Okay, let's go. Fucking William Regal. All right, I was talking shit about your move set earlier, brother, but I take it all back now. Let's power the punch, hit him with the Uno, the Dos, and the okay, the Noski. The Noski makes its appearance. It rears its ugly head out in this in this match. A big fat Noski. Golly, super Tiger Bomb, brother. Let's just let's just do it again. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I like that. <laughs> I'm feeling good after that. I am feeling better than I should. Golly, he, the suspense on that one was killing me. Damn, okay, thank you. Get off me. Get off me! Get off me! Fuck you, man, brother. Brother, man. Shit, you son of a bitch. Watch me, I'm just gonna spring at you. Yeah, you don't even have the stamina to do that to me. Yeah, continue to lose your momentum. I like that. Is it because he's. I wonder why that makes him lose his momentum. Damn, he's kind of giving it to me now. Let's go. It's quite the championship match. Quite the championship match, boys. Oh, okay. I like that. There we go. There we go. High impact moves. That's what we're all about. Get, okay. That's not what we're all about. Thank you, sir. Golly, I just cannot hit a fucking a shoulder on him. talking that shit okay booker you think you booker you son of a bitch booker you son of a bitch i like the chops though it is a good animation oh yeah boy Oh, 
we go? Hitting him hard. Hitting him hard. Sorry about the, uh, the, the slight cut in audio my cat was uh, communicating. <laughs> so, just cut it out. <clears throat> I like that Super DDT, though. That's a very nice Super DDT. Let's go. I have a feeling this should... Okay. Never mind. I thought it would give me a finisher, but I don't think I held it long enough. Nope, I did not. Come on, boyo. Come on, boy. Damn. Okay. Oh, he's about to do his little... Okay, nope. Not gonna happen. King. Okay, okay. I wasn't, I could never tell, like, King Booker, or King Booker. Yeah, no, King Booker's, his legs are so damn long. Like, is that a super kick, or is that just, like, like a heel kick, or, like, a roundhouse? But, man, it always connected so smooth, and it looked so good. Let's go. Let's go, Willie Reeves, brother man. Hit him with the hoo ha bow. He said, I'm going to give you just the whole bloody six piece, brethren. Three ski. There we go. New United States champion, William Regal. Let's go. Yeah, baby. In all honesty, that is huge. William Regal is your new United States champion. The, the second United States champion of the series. King Booker is just absolutely befuddled. What a match these two put on. My goodness. <laughs> I just, it was just something else, you know. King Booker definitely gave me some trouble for that, for sure. But William Regal, he completes his revenge. Finley tries to make an impact, but he doesn't. William Regal overcomes the odds, and William Regal dethrones the king wow all right so that's that that was that's how it goes and that's how it that's how it will be we're moving on to match number four submission match jeff hardy chris masters damn not the <laughs> okay so we are 0 for 3 on our simulation match chris masters he gets the the master block challenge on jeff hardy and he, he, you know, he throws him around. But it turns into more of a fight. You know, Matt Hardy shows up and it turns into a brawl. And Chris Masters, you know, he throws Jeff down. Jeff's hurt. He does, he can't really participate in this in this fight. But Matt Hardy's able to kind of uh, fend Chris Masters off. And Chris Masters goes up the ramp, you know, kind of just like checking his face. To, you know, am I bleeding? He hit me in the face. The son of a bitch. I'm the masterpiece. Uh, Matt Hardy's like, you know, you did me and my brother dirty. Uh, we're gonna get you back. You might be, you might not be able to challenge us for our tag titles, but we're gonna see what happens to you, you son of a bitch. Um, so, you know, that's match number four. Number five, and our main event of the evening, a tag team match: Rey Mysterio and Kane taking on Edge and Mr. Kennedy, with of course the accompanying big ugly bastard in their corner. So. We're going to simulate this match because it won mainly more than anything because it's a tag team match. But we finally got the outcome that we we're looking for. You know, one for four in simulated matches today. In this episode, anyway. Rey Mysterio and Kane do, in fact, pick up that dub. They are, you know, on a very, very high streak right now. A very high wave of momentum. They've teamed up before, in fact. And they might have even teamed up against this same exact uh, team before. But, you know, I'm not entirely 100% sure. But I think it might have been like Chris Masters instead of Edge. But uh, anyway, the, beside, besides the point. They get the victory in a tag team match. And the the I guess the, the ending specifically isn't super important. But Rey Mysterio picks up the victory and picks up the pinfall over edge and edge is just absolutely livid after the match and mr kennedy you know mr kennedy obviously is not pleased but miss but edge is like unstable and it's like brother you good <laughs> i 
Um, so pretty much that that's the way SmackDown goes. We're moving on straight into Monday. We're going to check out what this next week's got for us. We got one contract expiring. Let's see how WWE.com upsets us this week. Match of the week goes to something with Randy Orton in it. Raw gets 150,000 fans, probably for a bullshit show that they basically duplicated the week before, if I had to guess. And we drop down a little bit. Man, I just do not understand how this whole thing just works out because we are just getting dicked. <laughs> just dicked. Um, power 15 for SmackDown. Kenny Dykstra back in the top five, my man. <laughs> it's, that, it's that podcast. Every time he does a podcast, he ends up back in the top five. So we're, we're not going to let that stop us. Bobby Lashley, Rey Mysterio, Kane, Kenny Dykstra, Edge in the top five. Mr. Kennedy, uh, no longer in the top five. The Hardy Boys outside the top five. Elijah Burke and Mark Sklovan outside the top five. New United States champion William Regal. Goes from 13 to 9. That's big. No Chavito in the Power 15. That is a problem. Because Chavito, he's sniffing right around a Cruiserweight Championship match. I will tell you that much. So we need him in the Power 15. And I want him in the Power 15. We're trying to, you know, we're trying to tell the story, a redemption story, of a man named Chavito. So... Give me a subscribe if you're down for the story of, or the redemption story of a man named Chucky. Um, <laughs> it's not it's super important, but moving on, we're going to check out the roster. We got one contract to address. We got three 100 popularities, and we've got a, 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 a sliver of a chance of catching up in the, in the <laughs> fan rankings, but whatever. I'm not mad about it. Moving on, we've got ourselves a little bit of cash that we can play with. We've got three guys we need to sign next week. So Edge, King Booker. Let's get Book and Snitsky out of the way now. And if we got... Yes, okay. I'm not even going to... Wait, oh wait, how much? 617. Okay, we should have that much. Boy, our popularities are making us some expensive fellas. <laughs> Gregory Helms is a 91. That snuck up. Uh, Chris Mass is 88. William Regal, 87. King Booker bumped down to 85. We should get him some help. Finn, Johnny Nitro, Snitsky, I don't really care. That's fine. Corvon, 86. So we got some things to do. We're gonna just go back to the power 15 really quick. Just oh, let's let's check out the uh, the rest of the the wrestling world. Randy Orton and Mickey. That's interesting. John Cena, CM Punk, tag team champions, of course. Team Cheese, Team Cheese. And then we will check out what the other shows did for the week. Blank. Two-star. Tag team match. Batista versus Candice Michelle. Very nice. Handicap. Three on one. CM Punk versus his tag team partner. Makes sense. And then the WWE. Again, the WWE Championship. Every fucking week, man. Undertaker, he's on a roll though. Undertaker is just defending it week after week. What a fighting champion. I gotta give him props. Uh, Rick Flair and Kelly Kelly defeats Tori and Mark Henry. Okay. Shad defeats the ECW champion Carlito in a singles match. And then an exact, almost an exact repeat of the last week. Another fatal four way between these same four competitors Triple H, HBK, Rick Rude, and Randy Orton. Very nice. Very, very nice. Damn. <laughs> okay, so let's just get right into it. We got some shenanigans for this week. And I think I can remember what we wanted to do. And we wanted to get King Booker up there a little bit now that he lost his championship. There you go. That, that'll bump him up to a 90. That'll make him a little bit more expensive. Bigger issue for me later on down the line. 
Corvon was just an 86. Chavito also low. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I did it. So Booker's a 95 now. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, we will. Marcus Corvon, of course. Gotta hit the boy up. Trophy date for, we will do Johnny Nitro. Build this man up. Okay, there we are. Friday, September 20th. We're looking good. Power 25. That is, that's our power 10 for September 15th, I guess. The week of September 15th. And that's going to do it for our episode, guys. Thank you so much for hanging on. We're getting so much closer to No Mercy. Just inching week by week. If you're still here, thank you for watching the video. It is much appreciated. Maybe give the channel a subscription. Subscribe to that thing. Hit that bell notification so we can pop up in your feed whenever new videos come out. As well as maybe giving a like to the video. Some feedback down below is always appreciated. Stay tuned because we will be back at you soon with another one.